pressing the power button and it's not working. Why? So through this series, we're gonna talk about a couple of components, anything that can go wrong with a computer, and we're gonna dissect it piece by piece. Today, we're gonna talk about the power supply. There are two cases where the power supply might not work. First one is you're building a new machine, and when you press the power, it's just not working. The second case is actually you have a perfectly working machine, and after a couple of days, you try to open up, and it's not powering on, there's nothing happening. So let's start with the first case. You just build a new computer, everything is new, and you're powering on your machine and nothing is happening. And when I say nothing, it means the fans are not starting, so they're not even starting and stopping, they just are not doing anything. There's no lights on the motherboard, because every motherboard, any current motherboard, actually have some lights on it. So there's nothing and it may or may not smell weird but we'll get to back to that on the second part so first of all is the electrical cord is actually connected to the power supply that's the first is the other end connected to the wall is the wall working just plug a light to see if it's working if you never used it or something like that because it does happen for example it's a new construction or a flip house we never know some things, it does happen. So you did validate that electricity will go from one end to the other. So let's talk about the power supply now. It's new, so it should work, but sometimes, yeah, it can happen. It will not work dead on arrival. It does exist. If you have another power supply or an older one and it's working, even if you don't have the power that you need for that power supply, for example, with combination with a big graphic card, just try it out, connect it to the motherboard, and you should see if it's working or not, if it's the power supply or not. The second part, let's say there are some fans, so you know that the power supply is working. So the fans are starting, or you can hear something like an audible beep. There are some codes on the motherboard sometimes, or different light colors on the motherboard. And I'll show a few examples, but basically this means the power goes to the motherboard that's it <laughs> beyond that you actually need to have a few things connected to the motherboard like memory a processor things like that so the power supply is responsible to bringing electricity but beyond that that's your responsibility to figure out the rest and you're gonna have to go to the manufacturer documentation about that specific motherboard and just look what are the codes when it's not booting for example, one code will be the memory, one code will be the processor, one code will be you have no graphic card, stuff like that. And I'll give a small example. My brother connected his net is a graphic card, but there was actually a piece missing in the graphic card. So from the power supply to the graphic card, and I'll show a few pictures, but there was only one piece missing. So the graphic card will not be present for the motherboard because it didn't have all its power. So there were still fans going on, but computer would not boot. So that's one example. The second part is you have a perfectly working computer and just like that, it's not working anymore. Not while you're using it, but more like you close the computer and the day after you're coming back, it's not working anymore. You will actually do have to validate everything I said in the first part. So is there electric power? Just plug a lamp at the same place at the, in the electrical outlet and you should see if there's electricity. Is the other end connected? Is the power supply at on the on position? Are the fans spinning? Is there some code on the motherboard? All those steps you actually need to validate. Maybe you just bumped into your computer and this disconnected something, you know, it was just enough so it would work, but at the same time, just a little bump and it disconnected. That can happen, rarely, but it can happen, depending on how much time you kick your computer. <laughs> also, well, I did a video on how to clean your motherboard and all the dust inside your case, so do check that out. But yes, accumulating heat, humidity, and dust might make your motherboard, not the motherboard, but mostly your power supply go poof, and it's gonna stop working because it's like that. <laughs> That's by experience. <laughs> now that you have booted your computer, you should see a screen. And from there, it's gonna be into another episode and we're gonna go component by component. What are the weird things happening if there are some component not working? Because you basically need about all the component working 
for your computer to work mostly mostly so subscribe for more hit that like button and see you in the next video